as you know, they're really keen for you to use your dissertation research uh, to develop your final collection in your final major design projects. So I'm going to talk a bit about how you might go about doing that. So for some of you, it might be quite obvious, but for others, that relationship, that link and how to use your dissertation research in creative ways may be less obvious. Um, <clears throat> so here at USW, we advocate a conscious and informed approach to fashion design. So by that we mean fashion design that is informed by research and by critical analysis and design that is conscious of the choices that you are making as a designer. So firstly, we think you should use your dissertation because it will make your final collection and your uh, graduate portfolio more intelligent and aware. So critical research ensures that your proposed concepts and designs are informed. And we see this as a, a kind of antidote to the vacuous and superficial fashion that we can sometimes see in the industry. Also because I th we think it can help you tell a story. And this is a really powerful tool as a designer. So it gives you a holistic narrative to your overall portfolio. So when you are talking about your work at the end of this year, with confidence, you are providing a kind of cohesion, you know, th that runs through all your work as a graduate. And that you can talk about that, you know, um, as an expert with real expertise um, and that you've gone through this in really in an in-depth exploration. And so it allows you to go deep, go really deep into your themes, your topics, and rather than kind of look at concepts in a very superficial way, to really explore them um, and to design from um, an informed position. So building on research allows you to really go deeper into your topic and make use, make full use of its creative potential. So I've just got a list here of some topics for this year. Uh, you might recognise some of you, some of yours here. And it's just, I've included this here just to give you a sense of just the really wide range of topics and areas that you are interested in. So often as well, I think by drawing on your dissertation research, it helps to make your projects more unique, more different. Um, and there's so much potential here um, for how this can form a the concept for a major final collection. So I've just overall kind of um, tried to show you the different ways, kind of summarise all the different ways that you can use your dissertation research. And there may be more as well that I just haven't thought of, but these are the kind of the ones that are obvious to me. And I'm going to go through these in more detail. So firstly, it might be as um, market or consumer research. So it might be that your topic links to the, um, the consumer that you're envisioning for your final major collection. It may be that it's linked to conceptual ideas and theories so that you're creatively and visually exploring concepts such as identity, the body, transformation um, and so on. It may also be that it's about techniques, materials, um, manufacturing processes that you are interested in. So it could be innovations, it could be traditions. Um, so whether that's hand embellishments or, I don't know, 3D printing techniques. Um, it might be that those you're exploring those for your dissertation and you want to incorporate those into your final collection. And then it's also maybe related to your ethos as a designer. So your uh, particular approach to design, so your maybe your design philosophy, etc. So it could be that you're uh, researching into sustainable issues because that's what you're passionate about. Uh, it relates to um, an approach that you want to take for your um, in your final major design project and going into your collection. 
Um, and finally, it could just simply be visual inspiration. So often you're looking at topics that are incredibly visually rich, um, interesting, um, and there's no reason why you can't use those images and objects as sources of inspiration. So just to go into this a bit more detail and give you some examples. So using your um, dissertation research as market research or consumer research. So it could be that your topic relates to a um, to the, the person you envision as your consumer. And that um, so it could, for example, be that you are doing interviews or focus groups with those in your target market. Um, or it could be that you're using data that's already gathered. So I've used an example here. Um, this is Anna Hillier's work, her graduate collection um, from 2019. And her dissertation explored male body image and how that was influenced by media, um, social media and print media, and how that affected those young men's um, uh, body image. So it was a very um, intimate project. So she did very in-depth interviews with them and they also featured in her, so they're her muses, so they're, she's designing um, with these um, men in mind and she's also illustrating them. Um, so it really is about kind of addressing your target customers, hopes, dreams, fears, desires, frustrations, and how can you respond to these as a designer? And then, as I mentioned, it could be related to techniques, materials, manufacturing approaches. So these were images taken by Fionn Williams as she was researching her dissertation on couture and craft, the craft of couture. So this is her in the v &A archives in London, where she made an appointment to view some objects um, of uh, couture. So I think these included uh, Givenchy and Dior from the 1950s. And she wanted to look at the embellishments and some of the couture techniques that they were using. And so she drew on these embellishment techniques in her final major collection. So it could be research into a particular manufacturing process. Um, as I mentioned, textile traditions or innovations. It could be a, a technical problems and that you are looking at ways of solving that technical problem. Um, but it could also be pattern cutting techniques, construction, textile and surface design. You may also want to draw on the conceptual ideas and theoretical perspectives that you engage with in your dissertation. So this, by doing this, you're creatively and visually exploring theoretical concepts. Um, we live in a world where we are increasingly called upon to justify our work um, as designers. It's no longer enough for something to just look cool. We demand a story, something to add meaning to yet another collection. By exploring the critical and theoretical concepts in your creative research, it really asks you to dig deep and encourages this. So to express and visually articulate ideas and make them meaningful to you and your audience. Um, yeah, so this is definitely the most challenging way of using your research, but also probably the most rewarding um, because this allows you to draw on these concepts and express them in a way that is meaningful to you. Um, and and an obvious example here of past student work is Paige, Paige Leach, both her graduate collection but also their competitions she submitted um, for British Fashion Council um, and Givenchy um, and that she won. And one of the things the judges really commented on was the um, amazing richness and the depth of her exploration in her, her critical research and her primary research. Um, so in her final collection, you may know uh, Paige really engages with issues to do with um, mental health and um, um, imagery with um, body image and um, the kind of um, spectacle of consumer culture. 
is hugely critical, very critical of the fashion industry. But this is actually something that is very much needed and something she also could speak about passionately. But it is very, very difficult. But I think, um, as in, a, in another lecture I'm going to show you, um, Paige's work really exemplifies how it is possible to um, um, engage with a concept in a way which helps your audience understand it. So, for example, I think her sketchbooks really are an ex um, extremely useful way of an audience understanding the agony of um, um, of having a mental illness. Okay, so it may also be that you want to focus on um, issues that your dissertation focus on issues related to how you approach design. So your ethos as a designer, and this could evolve. Um, using your research um, in areas of the industry to really help position yourself. So it could be um, related to your approach to design. So for example, um, an obvious one is sustainability. Here I've got the example of Cat George, who um, whose work is all about sustainability and particularly zero waste, which is her, her particular approach as a designer. Um, where she, in really innovative ways, uses cutting methods to eliminate waste, but also to add um, personality to um, to the designs. So her dissertation was all uh, was all about um, sustainability and particularly um, different approaches to zero waste. Um, but it could also be, you know, unrelated to. It could be that you're actually wanting to pursue a career, let's say, in um, buying and that you're um, um, in, or for example, children's wear, and that this will gain you valuable knowledge um, in this particular area. So who are you designing for and why? Uh, and what is your approach to design and fashion? So for example, as well, um, this also relates to um, Fionn Williams dissertation on couture because this was something a particular approach that she was particularly interested in and finally it may also be that your dissertation research actually lends itself um, to become your source of your visual inspiration so, for example, this could involve creatively exploring the aesthetics of maybe it is an artist, a genre, a time period, for example, uh, and drawing on the imagery um, and aesthetics of that um, of that period or person. So um, an example here is Jess Gunter's work where her fine collection was based on the collection of Iris Apfel, who you may know. So her her um her dissertation really was an exploration of um Apple's aesthetic her kind of vision of for dressing uh it was also related to aging and fashion so she um just in the end used a range of models in the in a, in a wide range of um of ages but also you can see in her collection she's actually you know she's created a drawing of iris that she's using um as a motif in her designs and her color palette is, was also directly inspired by um by iris apple but also iris apple who's um, a big fan of the artist matisse so then uh, she started looking at matisse's work as well so yeah it can be inspiration for your color stories it could be ideas about texture shapes silhouettes um also fabrics of course and using images from your dissertation research as a starting point to deconstruct, reconstruct, enlarge, reduce, repeat, blur, layer, overlap, copy, crop, etc., etc. So importantly, so this was my last slide. Um, importantly, I think it's it's about you finding out some a way that is meaningful to you, and we will help you through that process. So if you feel stuck with it, um, speak to us because. I promise you in every way we will find um, a way of you really maximizing your research. Um, but also it might be that 
your dissertation research informs your collection in a, in a very direct way, like some of these examples, but it might also be less obvious. Um, but what we think is just how important it is that you um, make the most of that research and that time and really um, think about all the emphasis on just how important it is that all your modules um, blend in together. Okay.